Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's uh, Reading the Red, uh, this wonderful sunny Wednesday morning. Praise the Lord. Another glorious day ahead of us. So Matthew chapter 22, and we're looking today at verse 38. This is the greatest and foremost commandment. So having established the fact that the, the uh, Sadducees tried to trip him, now the Pharisees are having a go with a lawyer and they want to know what the best, most important law is. Jesus gives them that revelation and said it's about loving God. And there the declaration Jesus makes is this is the greatest and foremost commandment. And foremost means first. So this is the greatest. So to be the greatest is to be the most important, is to be the most essential. And uh, if we keep this commandment, Jesus is saying, then we will cover every facet of every law that could ever be met. So this meeting this law requirement will bring about for you a sinless life. Because if you love God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength, then you prepare yourself in every possible way for any eventuality that might come your way. Problems come in life. That's the reality. Problems would have come to Adam, even if Adam hadn't have sinned. It isn't the problems themselves that are the problem. The problem with problems is the management of the problems. And when we love the Lord God with all our heart, soul, mind and strength, we position ourselves because we're in connection with God. We're accessing the very wisdom and inspiration that we need in order to manage anything that comes our way. So the reason why this is the foremost, the greatest, the first commandment is because in it, it carries an incredible amount of revelation wisdom. It's a positioning of our identity. And loving God is one of the best things that you'll ever do. Because he's always with you. His presence rests upon you. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. Loving God is the best thing anybody could ever do. And in fact, it's the very thing that we were created for. God created us out of love in order to love him back. God wants a love relationship with us. And when we love God with all our heart, soul, mind and strength, we are fulfilling the first, greatest, foremost commandment there is. And then we prepare ourselves for all the things that come at us in life, including the problems. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.